Hi everyone, Mo here. Did you know that April 26th is the National Audubon Day? So on April 26th each year, and I'm reading from the website nationaldaycalendar.com, uh, on April 26th each year, National Audubon Day honors the birth of John James Audubon. And I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly. April 26th, 1785 to January 27th, 1851. And Audubon was a French-American ornithologist, naturalist, and painter, noted for his extensive studies of American birds and his detailed illustrations of the birds in their natural habitats. Audubon's greatest work was The Birds of America, which is considered one of the finest ornithological works ever completed. His work in this book contains more than 700 North American bard species with 435 hand-colored life-size prints of 497 bard species. Well, that sounds like quite an accomplishment. And I live in New Jersey and we have a lot of birds, regular backyard birds, birds that we only see seasonally. Um, and I try to take pictures with my phone and I don't always know what bird I'm taking picture of, but you know, you hear that little scurry, a little flurry of wings, and you know that there's a bird and they are scared that you're a big person walking by. But sometimes they would hold only still enough for me to spot them in the midst of they camouflage themselves really well amidst leaves and all and get a picture and even though the picture is not always uh, something I can frame but it is usually good enough as a starting point for reference and usually I would match my photo uh, with images on the internet to see if I got the species of the bird correct read a little bit about the bird and look at other better photographs of the bard and sometimes make multiple sketches. Most of the time I just stare at the photos till I kind of mentally put the parts together accurately and obviously um, you know is sometimes when I draw that bard from my mental image it doesn't quite turn out the same way but um, still, I like to play with it and come up with and basically match it to the memory of the bird that I had seen. So today I would like to draw the golden winged warbler. That's what they're called. Tiny little birds and they're beautiful. And to, uh, I'm going to use my favorite Castell polychromous color pencils. As you can see, I have taken out the colors that I'm going to use. There are 60 colors in here and I could just make swatches all day with them. However, in order to stay true to the colors of the bird in question, I've picked out some yellows, browns, grays, some blues, and some greens, you know, just to create a background um, for the bird to be in. I have um, oh I have a kneadable eraser because sometimes like I have always had hard time coloring inside lines even though I drew the lines so I keep an uh, eraser handy in case I want to blend something or you know it it not only serves as an eraser but it also serves sometimes to blend things for me and I anytime I'm using any color pencils I usually keep a um, sharpener handy i love these sharpeners because they have got like diff three different um uh, how, how do you say diameter of sharpening so this one specifically for the color grips which is a triangular shaped pencils and these are universal so i love having these handy and of course i need a surface to actually do the drawing on and i have a mixed media paper this is pretty thick and this is cut to you know, six inches by nine inches, yeah. And lately I'm drawn to these um, templates that I used to have forever ago, from forever ago. And I sometimes like to frame the item that I'm drawing, you know, just in, instead of just leaving it as a patch in a sketchbook, I feel this is kind of a little more celebratory.
uh, if that's the right word for it. So yeah, I am going to start drawing and when I do that, I am going to speed things up so I don't keep you here forever. And also I'm going to add some music. Obviously the music's going to be of my choice. And if you don't like it, that's totally okay. Mute it and watch it. And yeah, let's get to it. <laughs> 